If you haven't seen season seven, it's it starts with him on his knees because that's how the season six ended with him on his knees. How much punishment should we put our main character through? Well, I, I think the somebody described it best when they said the, what you do to make someone what a story is is people chasing a character up a tree and throwing rocks at them while they're trying to climb down. That's ultimately what a story is, right? And so I think that you should put them through as much punishment as they can weather and still uh, realistically want to pursue their goal and still realistically understand the stakes, you know? Uh, one of my favorite shows is The Walking Dead, right? And there was a period in episode, no, oh, in season seven, was it? Seven or eight? It may have been season seven. And people kind of stopped watching it. It went like this. And mainly it was due to how much punishment they put the main character through. He had so much punishment heaped upon him that his only goal was not to receive more punishment that his people would receive no more punishment. And this was from a character who had been a, a world beater for six seasons, you know? And all of a sudden, we're watching him not only be beaten, but to just be beaten to a point where the fight is beaten out of him. And I think people jumped off because that was the point that the punishment went too far. That was the point where audience was like, okay, I'm tapping out, I, ca I can't do it anymore. There was, a, there was, I remember there was an episode where he just stood there, like it was just one locked off shot of him and he just cried and the camera went to a wide shot and he's just completely alone and he's crying and there's a guy who, you know, he just watched be killed that was from his community and the guy turns into a zombie so it's even worse. Now he's got a freaking, after he just witnessed this happen to the guy and he could do nothing about it, he had to turn around and be the person to you know, right through the brain to, to put him out of his misery. Like, I, I think, you know, I still kept watching, of course, because it's one of my favorite shows, but I can understand why people jumped off because at that point, punishment, it went too far. So, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it has to be enough punishment where it does create the wound that we're all looking for him to heal, but it can't be so much that it, it makes him forget the goal. The goal was not to not to receive more punishment. The goal was to keep his people safe and get rid of all threats. And now he's not trying to get rid of the threat. He's trying to live with the threat and he fears the threat. And I think that's too much for audiences to, to deal with. We have to constantly keep this guy moving forward and working towards his goal while all the time realizing he could probably lose. He could probably lose, but we'll root for him if he keeps pursuing his goal. So it was the fact that we saw the fight beaten out of him, mm -hmm. not the that not him being put through the fight. Well, he there was no fight. He was being punished and punished and punished and punished. It was it was so have you have you seen this uh, season? If you haven't seen season 7, it's it starts with him on his knees because that's how the season 6 ended with him on his knees. So it starts with him on his knees and watching two of his friends, and he can do nothing about it. They're told, if you move, we'll kill everybody. But for right now, we're just gonna kill this one guy in front of you all. And they proceed to beat this guy's head in with a baseball bat in front of all his friends. And another guy can't take it anymore. He gets up and hits the bad guy. And the bad guy says, that's gonna cost you because now I'm gonna beat another guy head in and he beats another guy's head in. All the while the leader has to watch this happen and he can do nothing. He starts the season on his knees, watching his friends die and there's nothing he can do. And then for the rest of that season, he's met with even more punishment and more punishment. And the threat is always, if you don't do what we say and you don't give us what we want, we'll show up and kill everybody, don't forget that. And it's like, how many times can you see that? And how many times can you see that and the good guy not say, 
that's it. We got to come up with a plan. His only plan is to make sure there's not more punishment. You can't, you can't do that to audiences. They have to see the fight. They have to see the struggle. They have to see you trying to win, not being complacent with being browbeaten, you know? Would you say the more punishment we put our protagonists through, the better the story is going to be? To a certain extent, yes. To a certain extent. As long as we don't put them through too much. I think that we have to see... I mean, for, for my stories, I, I love to, to, to show the person, show their wound, and then show how they've begun to live with this wound by accepting it as a truth, even though it's a false truth, and how their world is with that, right? Now, this person may not be down on their luck or anything, but something has happened and it's, it's told them that this is the way you live life, right? And there has to be something that forces them on their journey. When they start going on their journey, they can't win every little battle. They gotta lose, but they gotta see that, you know what, but I can see on the other side of it if I just keep going because this, these are the stakes and I can't allow myself to lose. They have to take enough punishment along the way where you you keep believing in them even if they don't they don't really believe in themselves and then it has to get to a point where it's a soul crushing defeat like right when they thought they won it's a soul crushing defeat and you got to watch them pick up the pieces and you got to feel you got to that's when you, you you know circle the wagons and you know you're you're bringing together all the different people that are going to help you build build the character back up and put them back on their their journey because now they realize this is the worst that it can get you know this is the worst that this guy can do to me but the stakes are still the stakes i still have to stop this thing from happening whatever it is right so they've absorbed all this punishment and they realize that's the worst that it can get so this guy cannot hurt me any more than this only by them succeeding at their goal. So now I'm just gonna go straight after him, straight away. Now there's many different ways of what you can do to get them to stop the bad guy or the bad guy succeeds or whatever, but at this point, that's when the audience is behind them. They have received enough punishment where they have hopefully garnered the sympathy of the audience and the audience is behind them so that when they lead them into this final battle, the audience is right behind them, right on the horse, right behind them, like, go, oh, you know? And you're, you're watching this person go in and save the day. Now, if you give them too much punishment, I think the audience can bail because they're just, I've seen it happen. They just bail. I don't think you can watch a person just lose. <laughs> you know, I don't think you can watch them just lose. They have to have some win somewhere. 